What is up YouTube, it's Sack from Bang Tech Reviews and today I'm going to be showing you my new pair of studio lights. Now before I start off the videos I need to point out two things. First of all, sorry about the audio quality, I'm using the inbuilt microphone from the camcorder. I have bought a new mic, uh, the Zoom mic, so hopefully in next video you're going to be seeing much better audio quality. But in this one, I'm sorry, I know it's quite, you know, grainy, echoey. Uh, second of all, I'd like to thank Dave from Geek Noise for recommending this particular studio light for me so big thumbs up to him and go and subscribe to his channel I'll leave a link um, to his channel in the description box below okay guys so studio lighting is really important I mean you know not everyone has a budget to start off us to be honest I started off YouTube in um, in 2011 and uh, I use normal lights or even you know sunlight because that's what you have to use I didn't have a much expensive camera it was less than you know 90 80 pounds and uh, once you start growing an audience, once you start getting more viewers and people, you know, commenting on them, leaving you suggestions on what to do, once you start slowly growing, you improve your equipment. So that's what I've done now. Um, I invested in these two studio lights. I've got one set up behind me and I'm going to show you what was included in the box. So to start off with, you know, the box was much bigger, obviously, but I had, I had to set up one behind me to provide better light. And yeah, let's go with what was included in the box. So... Okay, ignore this for a moment now. Um, company is Photo Cell Professional Equipment at an affordable price. This came in like this. I don't know why, why it's dirty. I think it's due to uh, packaging. But this is where you keep your studio, studio lighting in. It's quite a large bag. I don't have enough room to show you. But it should house all your equipment in there. Uh, if you want to buy this particular studio lighting kit, then I will leave a link in the Amazon. Uh, I will leave a link in the description. It was ninety nine ninety nine from Amazon, so you can click on it. And for US viewers, I'll also leave it if you want to purchase or invest in studio lights. So let's move that to one side. And then you have two boxes. So one is a brown box. Let's open this up. Okay. Let's get to it. Leave the knife on the bed. <laughs> Have to make sure I get this off. Okay, now in this little box you are going to get the bag which I just showed you. So let's take this first. It is nicely kept. Now this is where you know uh, the little shader is going to be connected to, so um, it's going to reflect light and provide an even lighting. That's the first part. Okay, let's put that to one side. And that's all your, you know, the box which I'm going to show you at the end of the video when it's all set up. Um, you've got all your interior lighting shade, etc. Put that to one side. This are the four poles which hold it together. Okay. Nice bag to put all of these in. Put that to one side, that to one side. And then we have. Now this spot, you know, the cable is quite long. That's what I like. It's about three meters, I would say. So if you have plugged quite far away, you can easily plug it. Um, your light bulb fits into this portion over here. Then you have got the three pin UK plug. As I live in the United Kingdom, so let's put that to one side again. Now this spot connects to this spot connects to the tripod or the stand that is connected um, that is included. Sorry, you got quite a lot of adjustability. Let me take this off. Okay, I'm failing miserably this time. But you get what I mean. Basically, this part adjusts so you can, you know, turn it around, uh, put the shoot the lighting downwards so you can get better lighting. And we are presented with another box inside a box, a box section. Okay, let's put that down there. Need my trusty old knife again. I don't need my trusty old knife, but I'll keep it on the side just in case I do. Can't remember how the previous box was. Now I knew studio lights were huge, but when I was first presented with one, okay, now lightly I don't want to damage. Oh, I think I hit the light there. Okay, just open this side as well. Be on the same side. Got it opened up. Now that is that is huge. Okay, look at the side of that. Imagine or picture a normal light bulb in your head. 
this is probably 10 times bigger. Literally 10 times bigger. You know what? Just give me a moment I'm going to actually bring a light bulb just to show you the size yeah. difference. Nah, this is a beast. Bring it closer to the camera. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. So, yeah, you guys know how big it is. That's what she... No. I'll leave that out. And in the final part of this long rectangular box, I see old knife again. Might be out of the frame, but we'll get to that point in a moment. Oh god. No, no, no. Should have taken it off before. Come on. Come out, you. We've got it out. Ah. Okay. Put that to one side. And here we have the stand. So, we've got a different level of height adjustability here. For example, if I just pull that back. See? It goes quite high, to be honest. Um, definitely over two meters. So, it is quite high. And then at the bottom part of this, we have the stand. So, the stand is quite unique. I actually like it. The good thing about this as well, I was looking at a lot of stands um, for the studio lights. And quite a lot of them are not sturdy enough. But I've got one behind me. Well, if it's set up properly, you know, it is quite sturdy. On a carpet, it's a little bit more shaky. But if you have wooden floor, it's much better. So, you know, you just pull it outwards. Keep on going. Until you get the desired height. Now, this one's a little bit stiff. But I have to work on it. Just give me one more second. Okay, so let me see. If you just loosen this part over here. And then you can basically adjust it to your needs so here we have it based and that's that is the portion that is going to be holding your main light make sure you have the secure otherwise if you drop it you're going to be wasting a lot of money those light bulbs cost about you know 30 to 50 pounds to replace so make sure you have this secured on the floor okay guys so that was basically it let me just show you how it all looks like stood up and one last thing i didn't show you let me just quickly show you now I didn't take it out, but this is a soft box cover, so this will make the lighting more soft and more even. Uh, you just basically put it over your light. Okay, so box. beware guys, the room is a bit messy, I still need to fix everything, get the studio lights sorted out, get another one put up. So here we have it, you know, assembled, fully assembled, so as you can see I've just got the tripod behind there. And then we have a little lever, just at the top, look how high it is, now that is... And there we have the lighting. So look at the amount of light it produces compared to, you know, your normal lamp. Anything like that. So we have a little switch over here. Now, you know, um, it's currently, I can't even remember the date. It's either the 8th or 9th of July. And it is absolutely hot outside. Really nice weather. I hope it lasts for about another few weeks at least. Uh, we have a switch here. So let me just quickly turn this off and show you how it looks without the lighting. Look how much light we've lost, and that's just with one of them, and I've got a pair, so I'm going to put that on, look at that, just look at the difference it makes, and we've got that assembled over here at the top, then we've got the, the box where the light is housed, look at that, and you can also take this off if you want to have it a little bit brighter, but let's quickly take this off, then we have another portion of cloth over here, and then we have the light at the back. Alright guys, so that was a quick look at studio lighting. If you found it informative or enjoyable, then please do it. please leave a like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.